Hi everyone, this is Heather Lottenen from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to remove a color cast on the face inside of Lightroom, but first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on our website. My friend Val recently sent me a set of images that she had taken of a senior against this mint colored wall. And when I looked at them, I immediately noticed that the mint was reflecting back onto his face. So I want to share with you today how I would correct that using the adjustment brush, but also how to create an adjustment brush preset. Let's begin with this image and I am just going to press command or control plus in order to zoom in and you can see this green color cast on the side of his face. Let's access the adjustment brush by pressing K on the keyboard and I'm not sure exactly what combination of effects are going to make the most difference but I know that I'm going to want to probably warm it up a little bit, add some magenta, and then pull down on the saturation. And again, I'm not sure exactly where to place these sliders, but you have to start somewhere. Also, let's take a look at the characteristics of the brush in the bottom of the palette. First of all, I wanna make sure that auto mask is turned off. Auto mask constrains the brush to a certain area, and I don't really need that to happen, so I'm just gonna make sure I turn that off. Also, typically when I am using this tool, I like to decrease the flow to about 50% so that I can build up the adjustment. I always keep the density at 100 because that's the upper limit. And in terms of the size and the feather, I like to adjust those using the keyboard shortcut. So in order to make the brush bigger, you would press your right bracket key. In order to make it smaller, it would be the left bracket key. In order to decrease the softness or the feather, you would hold down shift and press the left bracket key. Now in this case, I want that feather to be all the way up at 100. So I'm going to hold down shift and press the right bracket key in order to ensure that that brush is as soft as it can be. And now I'm just gonna start brushing over this area in order to remove that green cast. It doesn't look like a lot is happening, but again, I am clicking and dragging in order to brush over this effect to build it up. And let's turn this adjustment off by clicking the switch at the bottom. And there's the before, and there's the after. I think you would agree that that is a pretty big difference. It has done a really good job at removing that green color cast. I think I got a little bit lucky with these sliders because I really wasn't sure exactly where they should land, although I'm thinking it might look a little bit gray. You don't want to pull too far down on the saturation or the skin tone will start to look gray, and I think that looks pretty good. Well, because I know I have other photos that need the same adjustment, what I'm going to do is create an adjustment brush preset by clicking at the top of the panel and choosing Save Current Settings as New Preset. Now, this is really specific to this set of images, so I'm just going to call this Green Wall and then choose Create. I'm going to drop this tool by pressing K, zoom out on this image, and just go to these other images and do the same thing, again, by pressing K in order to access the adjustment brush. Now, this green wall, you would just have to select it from your adjustments. And then, obviously, let's make this brush smaller. I don't feel like I need to zoom in on this image because I'm feeling pretty good about the way this adjustment works, so I'm just going to click and brush over it. I'd like to hide that pin so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to press H on my keyboard in order to do so. Let's take a look at that adjustment before and after. Very slight, might be difficult for you to see, but it really does make a big difference. Now we can jump to this last image and do the same thing. Just brush over this area, and I see a little bit down here in order to remove that green color cast. Now, obviously you are not limited to removing green color cast from skin. This will work for any type of reflective surface that is bouncing back onto your subject. You just have to determine what the color is and how you're going to remove it by adjusting those sliders. There's the before and after. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.